Hello everyone. Hello Melinda. Hi correct. Hi Dory. Hi Virginia. Hi Dolly. Hi Betty. Hi Joyce. Hi Susan. Hi Esme. Hi Christine. Hi Mimi. Hi Ho. Hello March. Good morning Katie. Hi Orion. Hi Elizabeth. Carrie. Hi Richard. Hello Debbie. Hi from Wilkoson. Hi Gloria. Hi Coralie. Hi John. John, have you been here in Malaysia and Kalexi? Hello, Joe from New Zealand. Hello, Alicia. Hi, Mel. Hi, Judy. Hi, Linda. Hi, Komgam. Hi, Shane. Hi, Christina. Can you see? The Bible Stoner. <laughs> Hello. That's a new name. Hi, D. Hi, Jonathan. Louis. Louis. Hi, well. Hi, hi. <laughs> Hey, Autumn, Francis, with the train. Oh my god, thank you, Ho. Thank you so much for opening the bank. <laughs> thank you for the generous. Hi, <laughs> Marilu. It's raining. I got stuck in the rain on the way here. But luckily, we are not um, bar gliding today. Hello, Nori, Juliet. Hi, Larry. Okay. So they have some uh, La Hang, the Buddha warrior. Uh, Put in here, waiting to give it up. Some, and today we're gonna climb this pagoda, Kaloxi. What an outgrowable name we chose that. Thank you. Hi, Dor. Hi, Anatis. Brittany. Good morning, everyone. That's a beautiful boat scout. Can we have this one? Because when we go up, we do we do not don't have this view anymore. Good morning, Michelle. Right now, the locals have me 8 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> Hello, everyone, on this great tour. The tour haven't been on yet. Start yet. How do you know it's great tour, Jonathan? <laughs> Hello, Edge. Hi, Joy. Hi, Allison. So, it's not open yet. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's open. It's just open 30 seconds ago. It's open at 8 30 and it closed at uh, 5 30 uh, in the afternoon. Hi, Chris. Hi, Matt. Rub the Buddha for my permission. <laughs> yes. You have heard one of the tune thing? Thank you, Anatis. You know, yes. Uh, sometimes it's good tour, sometimes it's bad. Not every time we good. <laughs> Hi, Bam in Brinton. Might be late there. Sorry. That's got quick. Got bad already. Come on, Elizabeth. <laughs> we'll be on good behavior today. <laughs> okay. Hi Rhonda. Okay everyone, let's start the tour. Let me say hi to everyone. You wanna see my face? <laughs> Hello Marina. Annette and in East Island. Oh really? Okay. I will thank you for letting me know, Carrie. So Annette. No E. How long do you stay in Malaysia? I stay here for almost ten days already. No bacon today? No, no bacon. It's open for us. Annette. Okay. Angel, you, did you sleep? Good morning. Now you can see my face. Sleepy face. Hello. It's raining, so I need to uh, support it by the umbrella. I don't want my phone and my Game Boy getting wet. So waking up. So, rain again. Yes, rain again. But luckily, we're not by my gliding, so it's not a big problem. It's just we need to be careful when we go upstairs on the step. It may be slippery. So I went here yesterday. For signal check and uh, roaming around to know about the things and it's a lot of steps to take um hello HY. so to anyone new my name is hui i'm uh, a vietnamese at heart i'm 25 years old almost 26 and i have been on hago for almost 10 months i have run around 200 city tour like one tour every day average on average and um today we are in binan malaysia uh, it's actually called Chosta. We're still in Binan, and today I'm gonna take you to the largest Buddhist temple in Malaysia. And Barbarian for your both you're gonna take a lot of beautiful pictures. We talk about Buddhism, about Buddhist, about the Chinese people in uh, Malaysia, and we're gonna see a lot of stuff because this temple has facing a lot of up and down, like passed by to different country generation, and also they got burned several months ago. 
did you manage manage to run the end of sleep after no i didn't we didn't no trains hi kela hi ronda okay everyone let me switch to the view again so we will go from the bottom here up to the top do you see the top so we go on over this way to the seven story pagoda and go up there so they got like 250 t of gold tin making by copper or bronze how you spell that building up there on the top and we go through the main hall we sit on everything and we talk about buddhism okay you are ready hi evelyn wake up on time let's go so here where we are actually a, a, a parking lot that's um still quiet but later in the day so a lot of people will come here you can see let me show you car is coming already in this way so one side raining one side sunny weather in malaysia is unpredictable especially on an island and we are in the second biggest city in malaysia this is one of the northern capital of uh, malaysia in the north binan it's spelled Bena benan but it's it pronounced binan it's just like Kofi B Island. Kofi B, but we spell Kofi B Island. That's what it is. <laughs> Stay on the sunny side of the street. Yes. So they got two options to go up. One, they have inclined lift right here, but they're closed. So the only one at the moment to go up here is by stair. Like this one. And the, and the Bogoda is located by a mountain, the Binan Hill. So it lean on the mountain and look to direct to the ocean. And still there are a lot of stone hill like this one that have been uh, stay here for maybe a million years. So when they built this one in 1890, in the 19th century, the land is around 30 acres. So it was donated by a man for us. So marvelous, isn't it? If you think in the same, I really want to climb that one. If it's not brain. <laughs> Hello, William. So this is the main gate. We're going in. You know, see the architecture, the building, and the details, and also the button on that design. Absolutely beautiful. I love on color shoe. So let me send you a chart, so you have a a glimpse of the religions in uh, Malaysia. So most of people, sixty-one percent of Malaysian, is Muslim, I list. And the second religious religious is Buddhist, 20 20%, 19%, almost almost twenty percent, and others is Christian, Hinduism, and all of the religion. So Buddhism is the second largest religious in Malaysia. So no wonder why almost everywhere we got a Buddhist temple and a Hindu temple. They have a really big Hindu temple just close by on this side. And what did Kekloxi mean in um, what is the name of the this pagoda mean? So it means Sukhavati Temple and in Hawking, Hawking is the southern Chinese language. Kelok it literally means supreme joy. And it's a translation of Sukhavati, a paradise. And Si means temple. So basically you can translate that to Supreme Joy Temple. Kekloxi also have been translated as a heavenly temple, pure land temple, temple of supreme bliss, and the temple of paradise. That's what the name means for this. God, and we are at the liberation bond. You know why it's called liberation bond? Because if you see the turtle on both sides, hanging like the sun, not moving. This is where a lot of turtle have been liberation here until a very high amount that they are not allowed to liberation them anymore. Here we go. Look at this. Strictly no liberation of turtles into the bond anymore because so many of them on this side. And what turtle mean in uh, in Buddhism? So turtle in nature in the habitat they they live really long, 
and Buddhism used turtle as the symbol as like the Buddhism gonna last forever for this one long live yes you're right and usually in a lot of pagoda pagoda and temple uh, on top of the turtle will be a crane a bird because all of them are the symbol of each other a crane is a bird who live in the sky and um, the turtle who live in the water so both of them also represent for yin and yang yin yang so when the dry season, no water. The crane will come and help the turtle to come to where they got water. And when it's storm, it not stay on the land. The turtle will let them go to close the crane to the where they safer. So they always help each other. And so so they live in sky and earth. That's why they are always together for that symbol. This one. Many of them are right here. On right now, <laughs> and there's a waterfall in this one. So cool, huh? Yeah, it's beautiful broadcast. Okay, let's keep going. We have a long way to go, a very, very long way in this decoration. Hi, Caroline. Good morning in Australia. <coughs> Sorry, everyone. Angel and uh, Richard and um, Evelyn. I think the lamb shoot yesterday night. Maybe have a cough. Hey, Luxy. What's his name? What? Might you sound like you have a cool superhero? Oh. Anyone here have been here before in Binan? Give me a thumbs up. So I have a claim of ID. I think Trey have been here. Yeah, Trey. <laughs> Super king of you. Oh, Bam Chu. Great. Bam, have you been here? Yeah, coughing. I think uh, I'm throat. I'm hurting my throat. Uh, here we go. Go to the garden. Oh, John been here too. Joyce, Ho, Joyce, Becky. Cool. Look at this beautiful garden. You know the first step of most in most of the movie when people come to the pagoda if they want to become a monk. The first thing, the first symbol, and the first mission we're gonna make is sweep and clean the pagoda. Anyone who wants to get enlightened, start with that symbol thing. Just like waking up and making your bed. It's just like that. All of these stay to you to encourage people. Starting the first thing, symbol, to stay away on everything. Sweep your house with the pagoda. Do symbol thing first, later. There's a bubble flower in the middle of the white one right here. Look at this. See the water still on this flower. I think the rain is stopped, bother me a little bit so I can fold in my umbrella. <sighs> <coughs> Sorry, I. I have a cold ring yesterday, suggested by our voyager, and now I'm kind of stuck. <clears throat> so the temple had been burned in October 2021, and 70% of one of the pagoda were damaged for last one at the picture I sent you. So some of them right now are. Oh, this is the wrong way, sorry. Some of them right, right now is the uh, it re renovate and rebuild. No wonder it looks so different. Oh yes, let me send you some more. So that one is were on 21st of October in 2021. So basically almost one year ago. You do not recognize it. Yeah. At the fire and rescue B9 team were been informed at 2 a.m. 56 minutes at that time and when they come it took them several hours to stop and sadly it damaged a lot and they they think that they wanted to um, to rebuild the, the pagoda the temple as around three or four months so they can be prepared until the lunar new years in 2022 
but still delay until now. And yesterday when I come here, everything is still under construction. And everywhere they got the, the sign of uh, donating funds and profits to the temple on go to re rebuild and renovate the Kaloxi Vagoda for that reason. We, they are still, they are still um, investigate the cost. They don't know yet. But not so long ago, just in February, another fire caused at the Bronze Statue of Gontins. And right now, everything we lie with incense, it banned. Only, uh, only like bright in, only. You know, in Buddhism, they got many different ways for devotees to rain. Hello, Becca. We got a uh, offering money, lie on the incense, on the knee and brain. But this depends on the, the ritual of different one. So we got, uh, now they banned here, no incense. So we will say after several burn for this one. Let me go up here a little bit. So the two way, actually three way, one by car, but cars only for the stop or for congestion. The other one is for who want to take a leap but not open. The other one here, way to Galaxy Temple. You can see. Lava congestion you go in. Wait for me a second, let me take off my umbrella. Ready for the climb. A volunteer was so kind when she heard I am Buddhist from the US. She gave me so many books, CD, and DVD. Oh, okay. So, Laurie, see the Buddhist. So, we got the view. Need to be on here. We go here tomorrow by train to the top. This morning is black sky and clouding. But now it's clear, lucky us. On the right side here is the center of a child care, care home actually for for the child. Sin Nang Child Care Home Donation Box. Hello. We see the the nunk. We just saw each other. She stopped and see bow and say hi and also stop and say bows so this care home is the center where they're taking care of the kids who in poor situation also like for taking care of often what's this one <coughs> sorry let's keep going because it is the last chest Buddhist temple in Malaysia. So these are the focal boys of festival of the Chinese community in, in Bainan. So usually it's not open at night, right? But during the Chinese New Year's, it's 30 days following the temple remain open until late. And with thousands of light turned to the scenery into a sea of light. And let me send you a picture of it during night time. I really want to do a tour at night time. But I close this time, especially if you want to come back on a Lunar New Year's. It will happen. See the picture that Momo sent us? Beautiful, isn't it? This is another gate. Let me cross the road and then you can see it fully from here. Momo had a working best on here. <laughs> yeah. So this side is for the Chinese New Year years. You see, from 28th January 2022 to 28th of February 2022. And I still keep this side until now after September. You want to see how steep it is? 
look at the man riding motorbike. Has to change the gears are smaller. Yeah, maybe I got the card from the intro. So this spark is were burnt in October 2021. As a better we saw over there. Now they are renovating. So that's where the the old main rail hall. And we will be go inside. And inside there are ten thousand of Buddha. Stay tuned. Not on the state anymore. Let me stand up a little bit so I can see fully. Nice symbol, huh? Let's go in. So inside here, they worship Jui, goddess of the earth. You have to wear my mask. For sure. Are they open yet? Yes, they open. Wait for me. Looking for my mask. Here we go. Inside. Left side, you know, by team. Are you ready? The right side. Here's the. I never see any Brian Hall at this big. It's huge. It must be around 1,000 square meter of this land. They are still don't know the reason. Yes, still investigate and tune out. Look at this. Let me show you a bottom out view from this corner. Beautiful, isn't it? Look. We can have a handle around 600 people here in this brain hall. Absolutely beautiful. And not just us. On the left here, what do we got? See the main gate? So for the statue here, it's about uh, 5 meters tall for this one. Is do you see the small statue of Buddha in there? And there are 10,000 of them on this side. I've been here like since uh, 1930, so almost 90 years ago until now. Yes, this bus was untouched by the fire. Lucky us. One of those Buddha. Okay, I got you closer shots. All of this and 10,000 stay to you. The right side. You know, the right hand is holding like this. It means for the future. Blessing for the future. And on the left hand, it holding the bottle of holy water to bring on the devotee. To blessing for them so and it's interesting that this is not the only one in this pagoda i got ten thousand statue of buddha in here there is a seven story pagoda we will go there later on some of ten thousand one so basically they have about twenty thousand statue of buddha in this pagoda only no wonder why the largest buddhist temple in malaysia isn't it Wow, amazing. And usually people will for forget this one, but I always solved it. I always look up to the rooftop. See, on the rooftop, they have scriptural story of how Buddhism was start in India and in Nepal. That's why the Buddha story up there and it's also carving by hand. That's why we look right now. And it's huge. I never, never seen anything at this bit, at this side, to be on it. That's sailing. I'm coming under so we can get the salt. Look at that sailing over there. Gorgeous, isn't it? 
you can hear me clear. I'm speaking with a normal, vo uh, lower, lower voice. Oh. Let me check. Sorry, sorry. Beautiful, isn't it? I have to film in framing the sun in the middle. Okay, it looks good, is not it? Oh, here we go. Okay, and look at my neck. It's almost broken. <laughs> here we go. On the left, this ceiling is also really nice. Look at the window. So the window designed by the bamboo. Why is bamboo? Because bamboo also the symbol of Buddhism. Because bamboo cross, bamboo is a tie cross that very persistent. If you want to enlighten it, you have to evolve and then been through a lot of challenge. And the one and only who persistent until the end can get enlightened and go to Nirvana. That's why turtle and uh Bamboo, they usually decorating in Bagoda for that reason. Right here. Can you hear me clear? I think the signal is good in here. Maybe it's just any back end. So we got three statues of Lord Buddha over here in the middle. So they got three lot in the middle here one gone thing got that of mercy got that the ocean and got that of the earth and this one look at that let me zoom in so we you can see the detail of the wood carving dragon and everything look at that It's actually not easy like that, I expect. See the dragon. It's making by wood and carving by hand. And it's floating. Right. Also on top of it, on top of the head of dragon, it's a symbol of Buddha too. Very amazing detail. Another dragon. Represent the power and successful. Vertical sort, okay. There we go. Hi Karen. On time for vertical sort. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. I want to try my best. So you can have the back picture just like you are here. And uh beside both of this, we got two things also here. One is the bell. And look at this side. Is it in my hand? You can compare that. It's even bigger than my body of the bell. And also there's another one making by wood over there. We come there later. We got that of the earth. This side. How you feel, isn't it? Cannot come land. <laughs> Okay, one more vertical. Cool. 
Yes, and on the left side here. So what people come here to wishing? They wishing for almost everything: career, business, prosperity, health, uh, marriage, fertility, and children. So they come. They on the the need employing. They also buy a bright in wish. This one. Yeah, we got. Look at the hill. I'm not sure how you call it in English, but usually the monk we bang in like this one, like the the gong, with by wood. Yeah. You see the side on top again. Which side? Later, pray your hell. <laughs> yeah, we can pray for all of us. The name of the Buddha. This one. Go. Oh, I think so. Go is the name of the food, isn't it? Can you reach what is the name of that one? <laughs> it's okay, Lin. If I have international ball, it's more important thing. <laughs> what about the other one? Right here on the left. Let's look at the detail. All of them are different. Got. See the line in the back. Fresh flower. Beautiful. So I saw you the wish scene right here, right here. So many people come here and buy this one and for wishing. And I want to buy one too to make for wish or all of us right here. So they come here to buy this one, the writing their name. So the wish one for academy progress. So maybe finish in master or bachelor degrees or go into a university. Uh, booming business, excellent academy result, simply anything. Academic progress, yeah. So, there's a, a wishing ribbon right here. And you know what is the most I want to wish for all of you? Because the thing that I care the most when I heard about you all is about the body health. When you guys have trouble with your health, I'm very sad to know on, on the term. That's one. I only want to buy <laughs> to body hell, but <laughs> it's on sold out. Not in here. It's empty because everyone is wishing for it. <laughs> yeah, sold out. Everyone come here for a while. But no worry. No worry. I had an alternative solution is not so bad don't increase in prosperity and longevity. You know, when we live longer, it means our health is good. And also, we got prosperity. So, we're going to get this one. Not bad, head on. It's a plank one. You can ride on. Yes, you can ride on this one. It's a. So, we're going to get this one. Okay. Oh, drop it. In screen, prosperity, longer VT. It's bubble. Yeah. <laughs> what do we got as? Of Subisa Squish. Wish come true. On Tin as Wish for. So, I think we, we should do buy every wish and then buy on wish come true so everything gonna be happen blooming in business success career living together harmoniously constant happiness world peace continuous run of well luck smooth working condition favorable results being couple and bear being together forever excellent academic result coming and going safely Nice, you can take a picture of this one and then we put the money later or we should pay first. So, there you go, being together forever. <laughs> yeah, we got. So, we got increase in properties and longer VT. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I see, I see. We can do it later. So, 
thật sự đã rồi yeah, in the blank hay go community not sure my handwriting is not so good Not open. Yeah. Oh, Hey go community, increase in prosperity and longevity. So, you don't know how far we have been go together. Some of you have been known for Hey go for two years, some of you have been one year or so a few months. But it's the great community, so we're gonna put it here. See that? Hey, go communities increase in prosperity and longevity. <laughs> awesome. Okay, it's time to buy. If we forget to buy, we're gonna have a big problem. Okay, mission come like a vertical shot of the god dead on the left. Here we go. Three, two, one, vertical. Okay, back at it. Keep going. We have a, a long step more to go in this side. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope the witch will come to you. Just like this one has been here for more than 130 years. Where is my shoe on? You see the people come here, just clean the floor. 
some hot herbal tea when you see it. Okay, I will. So next, where are we gonna go? We go to the seven story Tower Pagoda. That's built in 1930. Look at this one. That's the view. So there are two ways, one on the right, one on the left. We go on the right first and then we go on the left later. So it was built in 1930, the seven-story main pagoda of the temple. It's named the Banbota Pagoda of the 10,000 Buddha. So inside, they also keep 10,000 Buddha statue, just like the one in the main hall of Raya we just see. And it's high around 98 feet on structure. Around 30 meters when it's completed. This Pagoda is a combine of a Chinese octagonal base with a middle tier of Thai design and Burmese crown, spiral dome, reflecting the temple of Amaga of both Mahayana and Theravada Buddhism. I will send you, no, not me, Momo will send you a picture so you can see and compare. That's one. So the bottom is Chinese, the middle is Thai, and up on the top is a uh, Burmese one, or the design of this one. It can be similar. When we get up, we can have the view. You know, this temple is represented for the syncretism of the ethnic and religious diversity in Malaysia. And there is also the last statue of Buddha donated by King Bumi Bom of Thailand, daily fire here. And also King Ramasik of Thailand, like the foundation of the pagoda. So it's also named Rama Pagoda, or this one. And here we got the view of the city from here. See very contrast. It's leaned on the mountain, and this is Binant skyscraper and everything. On the left is the mountain. You can uh, let me divide. Oh, so 50-50 on the left in nature. On the right side, big city, moving more, a congestion of the main royal hall that we just went in. See how big it is, look from outside and when we go in, no reason. Huh? So sadly, it's closed, it's locked. Not sure can I broken, no not broken, uh, bacon and egg in to go inside. But because several burn lately, they not open everything for us. So let me try to have a different angle. So I will show you how does it look. Keep going down. <laughs> Just go up and go down again, sweating. Now we go into the the new prayer hall. Also have a great view. No breaking holy place. <laughs> Where we hold not to do that. Not do that in tempo, yes. If abandoned play, definitely. I'm gonna break it in. But with COVID, so no. So you can see that the diversity of uh, the tempo, 90 years old, Bagoda. Because this land used to belong to Thailand also, when Thailand conquered Malaysia. So, um, have Burmese style, Thailand style, and Malaysian style, and Chinese style in just one place. What are the metal bowls for? Which metal in where? Sandy? One here. Yeah, here we go, the garden. Why they got the garden? Usually, in the Goda, the garden is for represent of towery like this and also to introduce the first five students of Buddha. That's 19 years old, seem brand new, yeah. I think they do renovate several times, not only now. There we go. You know, the first people that Buddha taught were five spiritual seekers who had been his companion and who practiced with him the form of extreme self-denial that he 
himself later abandoned. When they first encountered the Buddha after his enlightenment in a place called Deer Park in Benaras, India, they met a bat to not to show him any di difference. They considered him a failure who had returned to a life of luxury. But when they look closer, the five ascetics realized that the Buddha had become a different caliber of being noble, wise, beyond all suffering. So the Buddha taught them that the means to awaken were than self indulgence or self denial, but a path in between the middle way. He then taught them his foundations inside the four noble truths and the noble eightfold path leading to enlightenment. And those were born the Sanha, the first community of flower that we've seen right now. The five big statues of the, the student next to the Buddha. And in Buddhism, they also said that anyone can become a Buddha. You, me, all of us, always can become a Buddha. We just miss time practicing, meditating, and uh, slowly, slowly get over all of the uh, desire. So we can become one soon. You can see me sweating real hard right here. It's raining, you can see it's quite on the stairs, so we need to be careful when we're going in. Damn, damn. Why are you guys laughing? We behind holy place, but we can hold it. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. My penny unbuttoned. Okay, go back, go back. Okay. I get a uh, sunglasses, but I haven't got a hat yet. Here we go. Welcome to the pavilion of this uh, temple. Look at this. Very beautiful, isn't it? With the flower. We can hear the monk chanting. Okay. Oh, through the gate. This one. We can see the life of this flower in just one sense. Look. On the right side is fresh. On the left side is slowly done in the middle here they die and reborn again yes so that you play we go in the middle here first and then we go to the right side later so his student here that was saying for india i love the flower bird of paradise i'm so sure see the architecture decorating look at this and here they also have around 100 100 to 200 of statue of lord buddha that people come here buy flower and put it on him to bring in an offering look at this You hear here the the music, no, not the chanting. Here's one eye. It's very peaceful. Helaconia, thank you, Laurie, for the name. Let's keep going. How do you speak, everyone? Am I talking or uh, moving too fast or too slow? Really let me know. Just one roaming around here slowly, just like you are here in person. So uh, we will not miss anything, which I my best. Look at this. It looks like rose to me, but I really don't know the name of this one. But the color, if you see in real life right now, it pure pink. The pink of this one is gorgeous
You love to ride on the bed, huh? And see it's sunny right now. Let me come up so we can have the view. We see a gardener. He's taking care right now of the flower. I think it's southern or something. I don't know the in I'm not so sure about the flower. I think hey go boy your here's no more, no less about. Here we go. The beautiful city again. Let's see the contract. I cannot see my screen. It's anti light. Is this one? No. I'll go up. Yeah. So everything is just one sort. Okay. Yes. I look at the rooftop and the cloud in the back. No, even the local, not many people know. At least, or if you are a Buddhist and you're a monk, you chanting, you will understand that. So, I come here yesterday and it's closed, and the lady come here back this morning. You know, this symbol in the middle of the chest of the Buddha, right? It's called Swatika, Swatika, yeah, Swatika. So in ancient India, the word Swatika were written turning to the right, and in Tibet, Japan, Korea, and the later India, it will turn into the left. Right, look at this one. And during the region of Hitler, Adon Hitler, the logo of Nazi were raw standing to the side. We're gonna show you. So it's completely different. So a lot of people mistaken that for this one. And this one is not a special, is not a special symbol of Buddhism in inside in India. It was a symbol of Auschwitz. RCB shirtness. Moreover, country like Basia and Greece also have this symbol. Religion like the Brahman teaching and the Wina teaching are using this symbol too. That's one. And so the word Swatika represents RCB shirtness, beauty, and perfect accomplishment. So this symbol appears on the hair, the chest, the hand, the feet, and ways of Buddha and Bodhisattva. It's and come back on the phenomenon and can be seen everywhere beside. And we can also make an offering to the symbol only too. That's one. Okay. Now we're going down. What's this one? So the signal is not so good inside there. When we go through there, but I take the picture on ready. So why cross that one? If I lose the signal, you can check out the picture that I took. So you will not miss anything. That's one. The Buddha hang is different, isn't it? So based on my research, the hang like this one, it represents the present. Like at this moment, represents the present, not symbol, not like the the goddess of mercy. It represents for the future. The hand gesture. Okay, let's go right down. <laughs> nice catch. <laughs> oh, look at this garden from up top here. Whoa. It's well up evil. Oh, I want to walk slowly in this pavilion. It's so annoying. Yeah. 
Here we got. So here the the second pagoda that worship Happy Buddha in the middle and four heavenly kings on the right side and the left side. I want to show you this one down there. Look at this. We need to pay attention to details. I strongly believe this on some hand carving, fold and bent it in gold. And this one. And happy Buddha statue. Let's have some lines there so we don't see them out. And right side here, we got four heavenly king. And stay with you on that side. I will explain to you because I think not many of you know about this four heavenly king and really interesting. So the first one on the left is the god for the east. So based on legends, four of them managed for place it on the mountain to these where Buddha stay and four mountains is located in four directions east, north, west and south. On the east one, the man with the instrument, guitar, representing the concept of responsibility to protect the nation. A person in living in a community of one country must have a sense of responsibility to maintain stability and peace for the country and its community. It also the principle of being a leader of the country and protecting the people. The, the people. You what uh, the left right wing? You still hear me? I think the connection here not so good. So let me stand in at the gate and we zoom in a little bit. Give me a thumbs up if you still from here. Okay. I see signal drop. I checked yesterday, so I'm I know it's gonna be drop here. And the right one, he represents the sound. With the sword in his hand, his name is T. Luli, in the language of Labis Lazuli, and in the sound of Mountain Duty, the heavenly king man is being represented for growth, the guardian of Sahawa. So this one is always advancing and never stops. So it is called growth. So the heavenly king growth always have the mind to remind people in the Saharium in order to be peaceful and liberated. The most important thing is to always practice to grow in virtue, to grow in education, wisdom, power, and on good dharma are increased forever and without stopping. So the world always grows in a good direction, forming a good and peaceful world in the future. Like what? This for both of these men mean? Or the, uh, the east and the south? And on the left side here, we got the west and the knot. On the left one, the man with the dragon in the hand, can you see the dragon on the right hand of him, with the man on the left? His name is Bilu Basa, in the land made of white silver, in the west of Mountain Tuti. In Vietnamese, I remember his name was Tây Quảng Mộc Thiên Vương, <laughs> how it translate to, to uh, English. So, he can use his viewer eyes to observe the world and protect everyone. So it's called by his name. So in his hand, hold a chance dragon. In the statue, he hold a rock colored red. This is a good will to tame dragon and ghosts. So making them respect the tree jewel and become good people among the tree. And on the right side, the one with an umbrella represent with the north direction. His name is Bikku from the land of glass. And he can hear a lot, to know a lot, and to make the morality reach out to all the four directions of the world for everyone to hear and see, to learn good and good things, to make the world more and more beautiful, peace, love, understanding, and respect for each other. And he also the one that encourages people to read thousands of books, travel on thousands of miles, and Read book to understand and go everywhere to listen to see. Then all problems will be clarified. Enlightenment and liberation will not be far away. What is this one? So I think the not the god of this one it represents Hegel that we travel a thousand miles away when we stay at home, read thousand a book, 
and on the problem what we got we will clarify this is the dragon door if you cannot see them see them now the dragon with the rest color and green okay so nice. okay so we are crossing this uh, new temple right now but i strongly i hope it will not signal but if signal drop i will share with you the picture right now so you can see that the first one we're gonna see behind this one is statue of uh, baby buddha when he first born and boy up his hand on the sky the second one is the building on the laptop and inside they have three statue of buddha actually are renovating so these are picture i took yesterday because when i check the signal it doesn't have them so i'm gonna cross now hopefully you can see that this it's buddha yeah as i know should know it drop Oh, you see that? Okay, that's good. On my phone, only one boy. One and only Buddha. Huh? How about here? This, this park is the one that got burning last time. It's been year, but they, they have not finished renovating the main hall. Huh? This is the new pagoda, new main hall, new prior hall. The one that we went first is the old one. Can you show the crane by the door? Oh, yes, for sure. The right one. It's crane. And by the door, see lotus. Which one, Sally? The crane? I said at the beginning, the crane represents for the sky, for the yin, and turtle represents for the yang, for the water and earth. So both of them usually go with together, yin and yang. I mean, helping each other and everything is balance. You know, the up and down, yin and yang. That's what they represent for. And also, the granny live really long. So, here they got souvenir and stuff. What is this? Small. Lot of bio handmade. I think these were ties, brint. Oh, no entry. Which, oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you, sir. Let's sell some stuff here. So, they did a few. So, yesterday when I come here, they close at 5, 5 30. So, here a turtle. Right, we stand with the yarn. Sky, and look it up the sky. Oh my god, look at this view. Beautiful. Can you see the cloud by the mountain? I will spend forever in here. <laughs> you bought Buddha here? That's cool, Lori. Story, we, we went down there to up here where they got the fine state here of first five student and the buddha okay let's keep going to the state of gandhi hello did you ring it
Thank you so much. So if the size say a Chloe six, actually the Chloe five, I right? am. Um, <coughs> we need to buy some money to enter in. And I strongly believe the money you have been to renovate and keep this place clean. What an experience. Here we got a stone carving with elephant. This one. I haven't been here yesterday because they closed. That's fine. Whoa. Oh my goodness. I think we're going to spend another one hour here in this place. So much to take in this. Hello. I'm sorry I'm over time, everyone, but this place is really big and I try my best, but I don't want to be rushed. So uh, please forgive me. You still can stay. Let me show you a panorama view. Because if I finish the tour in the middle of this one, it's going to be very awkward. Yes, here we go. On the Buddha ritual, it banded on the... Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, I know, totally understand. Oh, do you hear the bell? Yeah, I will come to the Beulah later. So the statue here, it wood carving. It's not like by metal in the first one you see. Wow. Uh, two ringgit, two ringgit is around 50 cents, 60 cents, right? Yeah, 60 cents, around 60 cents to get in. Not so bad. Compared to on other places, I have to buy a ticket. This is one of the more affordable one. Look at the Beulah here. Each different Beulah got the same decorating with the dragon on this one. And you can see through from here. A dragon roaming, crawling up to the top. So they got one, two, three, four, five, five under here. Which five they can got? Pure amazing in detail. Yeah. Isn't it? I think they look the same for the god to me. I'm not sure they are different. And are you ready? You see the ceiling again? It's absolutely amazing for the ceiling here. Of course, so this pagoda again built in 1890 and it's round finished in 1930, so about 40 years to complete, and every year they always renovate on the time. Oh, look at this. It's gonna be most out of the day. All this sailing. I hope anyone still wake up in the UK, see this toy. It will take the work. <laughs> Isn't it? Okay, on the left, remember this one, Angel, similar to the one that we in the Thien Hao Temple. Inside each of that, it actually can roll wing and a lot of statue of Buddha too inside there. Make me want to convert to Buddhism. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people convert to Buddhism, to be honest, in the West. There we go. Inside, we see it from afar. And this one can roll in. You see it moving it. Yes, let me send the 
the widget at night time again to anyone just joins of how this table look like. So if you want to visit at night time, you have to go in February for the the night time one. Hmm? Yes, blender. I forget where's my shoe. Oh, uh, I'm kind of lost. I don't know where to go next. Let me go in here. Let me speak later. Yeah. I hope you like this tour so far. If you're new to me, make sure you're following me. Just like Karina just this. And you can turn on the, the bell button in my channel. So um, when I create a new tour, you will be the first one to get notification. I do variety in topic and different type of tour. Sport, adventure, thrilling, lighthearted, everything. So we're in the the Bergoda that built in 1930 up here. So this is the way to get in up. So now why now on the why they were closed at that time? It's yellows. Okay, let me frame in the salt of the yellow building. Look at this. Thank you, Kathleen. Thank you, everyone who have tip. Really appreciate that. Bearing the rain and now the heat to conduct this tour. This is heavenly gate. We can look direct, like on the heaven. Of this guy. Look at this. Yeah, we found our shoe. I, I'm wearing this already. Really fast. There are some rows here. And turtle stayed here, working by stone. Around with us. Whoa, it's gorgeous dress. And Guanzin. It's incredible in every direction. You hear the music, right? It's beautiful with some water lilies growing in the back. And flower. And the water is coming out from the, the mouth of the turtle. And the mountain and cloud in the background. I cannot complain anything about this scene. Oh, golden duck. Oh, everyone, remember we wishing for prosperity yesterday. I because chewing it yesterday on the way. Not so far from the temple after I finished the street art tour. So, uh, I I got some money. And then the two money that we made for the gate today, it's, it's become two when we wishing for prosperity in that mon monetary temple. Let's see him playing here. I'll come to the view. Okay, our destination will be on the top, but it seems like still a long way to go. <laughs> so Laurie said she spent here three hours. So we have just been here for one hour and ten minutes compared to her. So I try my best, everyone. Hopefully you're not busy. So this temple, as I said, it was founded by the King Rama VI of Thailand. Back then, it was named Siam. So when he came in here and put the first stone to build this pagoda, and another beautiful ceiling with the dragon in the center and the top, it took about 10 years to come look, from 1930 to 1940. And inside, up on the top, we also have a 10,000 statue of Buddha. I need some water, so thirsty. And they eat the wishing belt. All of this used to be making by hand, but not anymore. 
During the fire, luckily the wishing bell will not cut the fire because it is also more than 130 years old for the bell itself. Let me show you a closer shot. So now everything is automatically by hand and robot. And this one, the size is say your wish is granted. Thank you, recharge. Yes, that's why it's got wishing bells. Boy in here waiting for the bell will come. It will come to. The right side. The size is in the. Anyone want to go to B break? There's a restroom over there. You don't know how lucky you are. When you guys uh, at home, you can go for B break anytime. Hello, so where to go to the. the no, uh, the. The God at Mercy, uh, this way? Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, I've lost. <laughs> it's so big. So, you lose your direction. Unicorn, Turtle, Turtle, Dragon, and Phoenix. Are they important anymore there? Uh, yes. Actually, not Unicorn, it's Lion. It have Unicorn, have Lion. And that's for four Skyrack animal in, uh, in Asia, in China. In Vietnam, in Malaysia too. This one. We square go to the Bondi's Gondi. Where we ended the tour, we're gonna see a 60 meter tall of copper Guandin. It's huge, stay tuned. There's a hedgehog. What is hedgehog? Mm -hmm. No vista beyond this boy. Oh dear. Need to ask for the person. Everywhere he say no entry. So don't know. Oh, where are they? Wait for me, let me check the map. Laurie, do you remember where the way is? It's a their train was from one level to another. Like there, there still is, but they close. They renovating it sometime. That's something. That's why I, I have to take on the steps. Must open. And if we take the, the train bus station, the lift, we're gonna miss everything. Hmm. Where to go? So we go up there on the left. Oh, yes, at the lady here. Excuse me, do you know where, which way to go to the 1D? Yeah, another side. No. So we're going down and going up? No, 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 no. Yeah, this one? The yeah. No, Barking station. Barking station. Yeah. yeah. Do you know the Oh, so you will flow that way up? Uh, okay, so we. Yeah, so go down. Go down, okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Okay, so we need to go down and it's in different direction. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, do you know where to go to the Guandi? The Brandis? Stay tuned. Yeah. No? Thank you. It's amazing, yeah, sure. Oh, right here, right here. I think this way. Here. Take incline lift to go on this state here.
We're going through the shop where they sell us souvenir Buddha fortune card. Look at this. I bought one of these at the uh, souvenir. Bazaar time, shopping time. Oh, that lady got a really beautiful gray hair. I think this is white. The cafe is another Hi. hello. Uh, how much is this? Up, and down. up. Down. yes, up, down, uh, six, uh, just go up three, three, one, uh. yes, one, one, two, three. So we need to buy three more. Thank you so much. Yeah. This way? Oh, this way? In. So this is where we greet to the state here. Can you still hear me? In the signal? Good, huh? Whoa, this is scary. So got my tickets. Another one dollar. Three is five. So more than one dollar. Good morning. On receipt will be used for temple development and maintenance. Use ink like liquid on the state here of Avoy Lacosta. Just never try this one before. Oh my god, that's scary. Glass elevator? I think so. I think, oh, I think it might be look like this one. That's one for going down, I think. We arrive, okay. So we got a bonus for the view for the ride. You can see me. <laughs> it's safe. Yeah, sure. Oh, you can take a step. And that's one. Finally, I can sit down and get some rest. It's good to go uh, for a big break now. But maybe it's too late. Hope everyone enjoyed this tour so far. How many bowl cards did you take? Tell me the number. How many bowl cards did you take? See being key flower? Five hundred and two? That's a lot. Five hundred and seventy two. Okay. Over one thousand. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes, not in the elevator for sure. Fifty trees. So Don and I just enjoy the one. Let's come on. <coughs> Sit down. Yeah. <laughs> Need to catch up. It's coming down. Cannot see from here. Is is it cherry blossom? Yeah, it's cherry blossom. I want to see cherry blossom in in real life. Yeah. Only see is it in a Eric tour. Just me it what the way to see the state here of one day. So the CLI Kia Sumang. Ah, you can't see the one. Yes, Golden Buddha real gold? I don't think it's real gold, it's just band, gold banded. Oh, I think this is the real Lucky card. Yeah, here we go. Slowly. Yeah, it's the real one. Yeah, it's the real one. Yeah, it's the real one. Here we come. This one going up or down? Oh, up, up, yes. Right. Ready? Oh, we need to uh, clean in. Sanitize. Choo 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 choo. Sanitize. Awesome. Whoa, it's so cold in here. Uh, look at us. <laughs> look at the way sanitized so far now. It's wet. You cannot see the view much, but. Uh, 
Here we go. Ready? Let's go to the top. Ding, 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 ding. You cannot see anything. Yes, uh, I'm talking with a lot of people from all over the world. Oh. Uh, UK, America, Canada, Australia. So they're watching it right now, around 100. Yes. Wanna say hi? <laughs> <laughs> they say hi to you. Oh, hello. Can see us? No, yeah, no, no, that no, no, no. right here we can see. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> see, oh my god, they they're waving oh. like that. everywhere oh, in the world. Yeah, we are live. Yeah, we are live. Nice. Let's So cute, yeah. Oh, I see. If you don't want to take the clip, you have to go this way. On over, up. Going down. Is it go quite slow? I think it's around 10 kilometers per hour. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> what not bad, Angel? Here we go. On the top. Quick two two minutes ride. Right. Very fast. It's a lot of tank to go in there. Thank you. X6 on the right side. The old lady is so cute. Oh, which way? Rwandan State here. Whoa. Oh, you can ride car up here. That's so nice. So they got the garden of the Yodiak. Grass, buffalo, tiger on the right side. We have see some similar to the uh, Ting Hao Temple, but this one must be stone. Oh my goodness! It's so beautiful. Wow, view! Did you see that? But let me show you the city first. And then from this corner, we can see the city of her. Mm -hmm. It's worth the wait, and it's really worth the overtime. So this is the high gas boy up the city. Binan. This one. Awesome, isn't it? And here's it's the statue of Gondin. Look at that. Around 200 feet tall. The same of that. Let me come to the straight way in the middle one. Whoa. Wow. It's definitely your dropping. Oh, uh, have a vertical shot. Three, two, one. Awesome, isn't it? So, Goddess of Mercy, Gondin is her name. And she's the one that's gone on hearing, on listening to all the people around the world that suffer. And she actually lived on an island. And she got enlightened, but she refused to listen to uh, Lord Buddha to go to Nirvana. And she stayed on earth to help in the people. Is what her mean? This one, the weather it got you, yes. Beautiful sky today. Wow, amazing. I'm not sure can we go up, so but let me jump in first so you can see the city of her on this side. And uh, in this years in February, 
is burning again. It's the burn it starts from the the table in front of the Buddha. You can see the picture that Momo sent you. So I think again they are not allowed to uh, <laughs> to to light the incense to pray in anymore. So in front of her they got four statue, two lions in the middle and two eleven on the the right side. This eleven it looks similar to the one in Thailand in Siam for the design. And next to her two statue of the god who is a warrior to practice. Let's be going up. Can you see the cloud? It's not literally if you're on top of Binan Hill, you can touch the cloud from there. So beautiful. More step. It's kind of it's huge, like it's really big. If you are here in person, you can see how big it is. Oh, look at this. Cute cloud. It's a lock. Oh no, they lock everyone. Sadly, cannot go in. No. Lock. So, uh, that is the only way we can see. Let's have another look from the view from here. I've got this statue copper. It's also built in uh, <coughs> 1930. No, 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 sorry. This one is built in uh, 2002. So 20 years old. 2002. Oh, God. Thank you, Alicia. So it's around 20 years old. And look all over to the city. Why big and dog? I don't really know, to be honest. They are different animal state to you to block the way of car barking or someone. Not the fight. Let me jump into the fight for you. Okay, this one. Huh? Handy. So that have the function to block the car not coming here. While the barking one two here right they also have mickey mouse oh, yeah the only reason we got it because they're cute <laughs> look at this yeah this is gone jean in vietnamese we say wang um cute anymore so so the car we're not coming in here for that reason okay everyone nice hope you guys love this tour Maybe one more roaming around the garden of the Zodiac. So you've got horse, bird flow. But here it's more beautiful than Ting Ho because it's built by stone. Oh, horse represent for success, fat, stable, goat, monkey, tiger, rat, and bird flow. Quite big. And this one. Lhasa, yeah, I will got some Lhasa after this one. And also B break. My last, uh, I cannot hold anymore. <sighs> Let me get a sick and say goodbye to all of you. This will be my great back of the complex. Yes. Okay, everyone, we sit under here. I've gone then. What bird? Bird is the Yodi Yak side of the Yodi Yak. I wish to spend time here and get some relax. So, uh, yes. Thank you so much, everyone. One more time again for coming with me, spending time with me. Uh, please forgive me that I'm over time a little bit, 20 minutes, uh, because it's quite big. You know, if you are here in person, three hours is the time you're going to spend. So, 90 minutes, here yeah, I try my best to show you on the route. Thank you so much for coming with me. I hope you understand more about Buddhism in Malaysia, seeing the beautiful architects, flower, garden, statues, bantic story. Also, know more about Sawitika, Buddhism, Gondins, and uh, four heavenly king to protect the mountain Muti in this one. Um, if you love this tour and you see this one send you, give you some value, you can leave us a tip on your bottom corner. That is the way that us as the guy is making income. That is the only way. And uh, it's usually just cut around one cup of coffee or something like that. 
you can uh, customize the tip like we can do in this and thank you so much for your tip I see everyone should tip and we can read the charts again if you still have any questions please give it to me so I will answer it right now and tomorrow tour I will go to Binan Hill you see the mountain, mountain right there's a mountain that they, another train we're going up to the top of Binan and we're roaming around that 130 years old 100 million years old forest grand forest there beautiful view beautiful nature of flora and fauna coming around tomorrow and tonight and we go with somewhere a surprise tour for that one yes <laughs> yes have a great day everyone thank you train thank you everyone so much goodbye and see you tonight or tomorrow anytime this is Hui live streaming from Malaysia <laughs> have a beautiful day love you all it's great you are adding tour to this trip yes Bye.